The story begins in a crowded train station. Hundreds of passengers are bustling to get inside a train, among which is a father named Zhang. He has come along with his little son and teenage daughter. But before he boards the train, something unusual happens. The station staff rushes to stop a mysterious train from entering the station because it's not supposed to be there. After the second train stops, everyone goes to check on it. To their horror, when they open one of the compartments, a load of dead bodies and rats pour out of it. Zhang also sees the horrific scene and becomes worried that something bad must be going on. As he continues peeking through the window, a thug picks a fight with him, claiming that he is in his seat. Zhang apologizes for the inconvenience, but the thug doesn't stop bullying him and his daughter, Wei. Fortunately, before things can escalate, a good Samaritan by the name of Du Shen intervenes and escorts the father-daughter duo from there. After the minor incident, Wei thanks Shen for helping them out, while Zhang starts wandering around the train. Just then, the other passengers hear a strange sound from the ceiling, and the camera zooms in to show that the ceiling is infested with a herd of rats. In the next compartment that houses elite people, Zhang unexpectedly sees his long-lost daughter Ling with her husband, who is now an army major. He angrily approaches her, claiming that it took him years to find her. However, when he starts forcing Ling to come with him, the nearby army officers take control of Zhang. Her husband inquires if she knows the man, to which Ling lies that she doesn't. As a result, Zhang is taken to a dark room and chained to his hands by the officers. He is being punished for the attempted assault on the major's wife. Just then, the officers and Zhang see another man who is chained in a corner. One of the officers goes to check on him, but the man is shaking weirdly. When he turns, it is revealed that he has been bitten by the deadly rats. Suddenly, the vicious rodents swarm the room and start crawling over the officers. Meanwhile, Zhang's son is attracted by a weird sound and follows it. He soon realizes that something is moving under a cloth, and when he slowly removes it, it only turns out to be a cat on the look out for something. Inside another compartment, a woman hears a squawking sound from the ceiling and becomes annoyed. Hence, she asks her husband to do something about it. Obliging her request, the man brings out a stick and starts banging on the roof of the train. Unfortunately, he knocks open a small ventilator, from which thousands of rats start pouring inside. In no time, they attack all the passengers and finish them off. Meanwhile, the major and the train's captain catch wind of the attack, so they urge their people to take off immediately. It appears as if they are well aware about what's going going on. After packing their belongings, Ling manages to escape to a safe compartment with her husband. Elsewhere, inside the dark room, Zhang watches in horror as all the army officers are devoured right in front of his eyes. Terrified that he is next, Zhang starts saying his final prayers, but even after waiting for a while, nothing happens. This is when he realizes that the rats are afraid of sunlight. Hence, he quickly grabs the key to his chain that is lying on the floor and unlocks himself. However, once he is outside, Zhang sees that the compartment is full of dead bodies. There are also rats crawling all over the floor, but fortunately, he slowly climbs above the seats and manages to escape. After reaching the next compartment, Zhang warns the passengers about the deadly rats, but the people just make fun of him. They assume that he is hallucinating and on drugs, but because of the insults, Zhang takes his daughter away and moves to the next compartment. Just then, an injured man arrives at the back door of the previous compartment and thuds dead on the ground. The other passengers, who have now become anxious, see something moving under the man's cloth, and it turns out to be a rat. Soon enough, thousands of rats break through the door and attack everyone on sight. Shan tries his best to escort as many people as he can into the next compartment, but seeing the rats getting closer, he closes the door. At the same time, the officers also lock the other compartments behind them, leaving the passengers on one side to die. Ling, who is worried about her family, tries to convince her husband to open the door, but he does not listen. Now, Zhang, his children, Shan, and another guy are trapped in the compartment with nowhere to escape. To make matters worse, thousands of rats have ganged up and are attempting to break the door that separates them from the humans. It appears as if our protagonists have reached their doom, but just then, Shan finds a way to get out through the ceiling. Zhang and his children are also pulled out of the compartment, but the last passenger remains. Unfortunately, it is too late for him as the rodents burst out of the door and kill him. Meanwhile, due to the increasing danger, the captain of the train comes up with a plan to disconnect the latter carriages. This is the section where Zhang, his family, and hundreds of other people are residing. Ling is totally against the plan, but the major once again disregards her wishes and detaches the carriages. Shan, who notices the carriage is splitting, immediately jumps to the first half of the train and manages to save Wei as well. But when it is Zhang and his son's turn to jump, the train starts blasting from the back. 
Thankfully, at the last second, the father-son duo takes a leap of faith, and Shan manages to catch them. After a while, as Ling and the other passengers are mourning the loss of their family members, Zhang and the group arrive at their compartment. Ling is relieved to see her family alive, but due to her bad past with her father, she doesn't approach them. In the next scene, one of the passengers suddenly falls unconscious on the floor. It is revealed that he has been bitten by the rodents and is now infected. Because of this, the officers decide to separate the infected ones and keep them quarantined. Zhang anxiously checks his children to make sure that they are fine, but when he notices that his son has been bitten, he is devastated. Realizing that his son doesn't have much time, Zhang reveals to the passengers that he works in the health department, and a few days ago, he was assigned to get medicine that can reduce the infection of the rodents. The medicine is stored in a hospital, which is in the next district. However, the captain doesn't want to make any stops since the rodents are too dangerous, and they will just be wasting time. This divides the people into two groups, and during the commotion, a thug brings out a gun and keeps the captain hostage. He then demands that they will be stopping by, as everyone needs medicine at the moment. Left with no choice, the captain agrees. After an hour, the train arrives at the district, and Zhang Wei, Shan, and three other passengers volunteer for the mission. The train driver gives them two hours to get back to the station. He tells them that once the time exceeds, the train must depart, considering the safety of the other passengers. Soon, the group arrives at a town, but it has been completely destroyed. Moving ahead, they see a pile of dead bodies lying all over the street. The group has no choice but to walk over these bodies to reach the hospital. After crossing the corpses, they see a herd of rats ready to feast on whatever comes their way. Fortunately, they are also hiding from sunlight, and when Zhang notices this, he suggests his group walk on top of the nearby pipes. Sadly, a guy loses his grip and slips down. Zhang and the others can only watch as the man is quickly devoured by the rodents. Meanwhile, a man from the town gets on the train and informs the passengers that the rats are scared of the daylight, but they can be more dangerous and deadly during the night. Learning this, the passengers demand to return to the train and flee while they can. Suddenly, dark clouds start taking over the town, covering the sunlight. This makes the rodents come out from the shadows and go after Zhang and his group. Sadly, another man loses his life when he slips down. The rest of the group somehow makes it to the hospital, but Shan injures his leg in the process. Inside, they are attacked by a person, but Zhang immediately calms him, saying that they are here for the medicine and mean no harm. Hearing this, the man introduces himself as the caretaker of the place, and leads the group to the hospital warehouse. Along the way, they come across millions of rats, squeaking, crawling, and waiting for their next prey. The group then uses fire to scare away the rodents. Back in the train, the passengers along with the thugs, who still have the captain and his men hostage, start to think that the rescue team will not return, or they are already dead. Hence, they decide to start the train. But this only causes a fight, as some people are still hopeful that Zhang and his group will return with the medicine. Meanwhile, an old lady, who is tired of all the commotion, heads to the front door and opens it. With this, thousands of rats come inside and attack the passengers. Ling, who is with her brother, can do nothing but watch from a nearby compartment. In the warehouse, Zhang and the others enter a hall, where they see a large nest of rats. Zhang decides to go alone inside and retrieve the medicine, but after he gets the medicine box and prepares to return, the furniture beneath him breaks. Somehow, he manages to hold on, and at the same time, the caretaker arrives and asks Zhang to give him the box, but as soon as he gets it, he hurries outside and locks the group in the hall. The caretaker then explains that he will sell the medicine in order to improve his financial condition. Dude, what is money going to buy you at a time like this? Soon after, the large nest of rats starts dispersing, unleashing millions of rodents all around the hall. Fortunately, the group manages to break down the door and escape from the warehouse. They then join the traitor who locked them in the hall, but it turns out that his son and wife died while he was away. While he is mourning, Zhang and the group silently grab the medicine box and hurry outside. They then get inside a parked jeep and drive away, as the swarm of rats dangerously chases them from behind. Suddenly, the dark clouds clear, and there is sunlight once again. This makes the rodents hide away in the dark. Thus, the group makes it out of the town, alive. However, once they reach the train, they see the deceased bodies of the passengers lying around. Assuming that their family members have been killed, Zhang and the others start crying, but just then, Ling and some officers come out of their compartment, much to everyone's delight. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, their happy moment is cut short when the weather once again changes as dark clouds hover above the town. The swarm of rats also gets out of the dark and heads towards the train. Suddenly, one of the officers snatches the medicine box from Zhang and hits him in the head. Bitten all over his body by the rats, the officer then tries running away, but Shan stops him and retrieves the medicine, which he passes back to Zhang. By this time, the rats have almost arrived, so the entire group hurries back inside the train. Sadly, Shan fails to get back because of the injury 
injury he sustained earlier. Before being devoured by the rodents, he calls Wei and confesses his feelings for her, making his demise even more tragic. That was kind of selfish. After a while, Zhang starts injecting the medicine into the infected ones and things finally start getting better. However, the train suddenly stops and the passengers learn that there is a blockade on the track ahead. Zhang immediately ushers his fellow passengers to clear the path together, but nobody wants to risk their lives by going outside. Having no choice, Zhang goes outside alone and tries to move the large carriage. Seeing his determination, his daughter Wei and soon the rest of the passengers also join him. At the same time, one of the thugs straps himself with explosives and lures the rats. When they swarm him, he sacrifices himself and kills the rats, giving the passengers ample time to remove the blockade. This heroic act by the thug encourages the passengers even more, and they finally manage to move the carriage. But soon, after the train starts, they realize that the current path is leading to a dead end. Hence, Zhang has to manually execute the handle to change the track. But when he gets the job done and attempts to board the train, he realizes that the tracks have again changed. This is because the handle is broken. Because of this, Zhang has to hold it himself until the train changes its track. Once he completes the task, he runs after the train as a swarm of rats follows him from behind. Unfortunately, as he is about to get inside, he falls down and hurts himself. By this time, the rats are too near for him to escape. The final scene of the movie shows Ling and Wei wailing for their father, since they know he cannot make it to the train. Zhang is soon infested by the rats, but he dies in relief, knowing that he was able to save his children. That was the best damn DLC for a Plague Tale I've ever seen. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.